Obviously, we need to act. We finally got a completed bill from the House yesterday. We need to uh, continue ensuring that frontline health care workers have the, all the resources they need. We need to directly help American workers and families face this uncertain period. In particular, we're examining policy tools to put money directly and quickly into the hands of American families. So we're going to take up and pass the House bill as soon as the Senate gives us permission to do it. Then Senate Republicans, in conjunction with the administration, are going to write a next bill. The Senate being the Senate, we will then discuss with the Democrats what we can agree to pass, which will, of course, take 60 votes. The details of that obviously have not been determined yet. A number of my members think there are considerable shortcomings in the House bill. Um, my counsel to them is to gag and vote for it anyway, even if they think it has some shortcomings, and to address those shortcomings in the bill that we're in the process of crafting. I cannot predict how long we will be here, but we'll be here as long as it takes to pass yet another measure beyond the one that came over from the House. Uh, we, we occasionally have these great crises, and when they occur, we're able to rise above our normal partisanship and many times our normal positions, because these are not ordinary times. This is not an ordinary situation, and so it requires extraordinary measures. So we need to act, and we need to act quickly and strongly. We Democrats have proposed a big, bold, comprehensive package of what needs to be done right now. So first and foremost, we need much more bolstering on the medical side. Obviously, we need the testing to work, but we need much more than that. We need hospitals to be well prepared. They need equipment. They need masks. They need respirators. They need beds. We do not want to be in the situation like Italy where there was not enough medical care for the ill people. And this has to be done quickly, firmly, and strongly. And that is number one in our $750 billion package that we have proposed. We must bolster paid family leave, paid sick leave, and unemployment insurance so that the millions and millions of people who are not working and not getting a paycheck can get one. We need to help small businesses. I've talked to countless small businesses in New York. They will go out of business in a couple of weeks if they don't get some help. Our proposal mainlines money into small businesses quickly. They need it. The federal government and the banks should not be able to foreclose on a house if you can't pay your mortgage. And we have asked that anything that's federally backed, student loans, mortgages, which are the vast percentage of mortgages, and um, small business loans, that there be a six-month forbearance. They don't have to be collected. But if you don't solve the immediate health care and economic needs of the people who are hurt, the problem will just get worse. And the airlines will be in worse shape. And the economy will be in worse shape. So we must do all of those things and do them quickly.